welcome to Particle Mechanics. I'm Danelle Roberts and I have a revolutionary new way of looking at physics and chemistry. What's wrong with modern physics and modern chemistry? Well, it's the basic geometry is either wrong, lacking, or incomplete at virtually every single field. Now, modern science is begging, crying out for the unifying theory. Well, guess what? I have the unifying theory. So what's the uh, big secret? Actually, it's real easy. The building blocks of the universe work and operate exactly like the building blocks of life. What is that? It's DNA. What is DNA? DNA is a, DNA is a long, thin strand, like in my body, Every cell in my body has the same strand of DNA. And that strand of DNA can be in a skin cell and a muscle cell. And depending on which kind of cell it is, it has a different function. And that's exactly how the universe works. There is a single particle that changes states and has a different function in each place that it is. That's how it works. Now. What all are we going to do uh, with this theory? Well, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to explain gravity at the molecular level. How are we going to do that? We're going to put a particle behind it. We're going to see that a, a, a gravity particle goes through an atom. And when it's going to an atom, if it goes through one, it pushes you. It's not a force that pulls. And that's what we're going to do in our theory. We're going to start putting particles behind all the different uh, phenomenon forces that happen. For example, light. It's not going to be a wavelength. We're going to put three particles behind it, a red, a green, and a blue particle. It's going to take sound, for example. They say it's just a compression wave. No. We're going to put a particle behind sound, and that particle causes the compression wave. Then we're going to take electricity, not some little electron that just moves along we're going to explain it as a particle and how it moves. And then you take, for example, magnets. That's another thing we're going to explain, where it has a force where it's supposedly a magnetic force that pulls and repels. Nope, there's a particle that's behind that. Believe it or not, a magnet pushes itself together and it pushes itself apart. It's actually quite easy when you get it in the right way. Then the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the old atom, what they teach in school, we're going to throw it out and we're going to replace it with something called the key ring atom. Very simple, it works just like your keys on your key ring. You have a key ring holding keys. And so what we're going to have is we're going to have a single particle holding thousands of particles. What is it that we have doing that, for example? This is a hydrogen atom. Very neat, single particle, has a hole in it going to answer lots of questions. Another atom we got here, helium, an all-particle atom. And as you can see here, we have several other elements that we're going to show you, and the geometry of these atoms is going to answer lots and lots of questions. Now, the correct geometry of the atom, the correct geometry of the particles, their mechanical movement and their mechanical interaction is the unifying theory. And I took all my ideas and all my theories, they're all in this book right here. Particle Mechanics, The Theory of Energy States. Now the other thing that we're going to be doing is, is we're going to take the entire theory and we're going to put many videos out and make them available so that you can see them on video. But you got to remember one thing, physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry.